We're at Bob Young Field here at the University of Sioux Falls uh, Sports Complex uh, alongside uh, Casey Peters, offensive lineman for the Cougars in your fifth year. And Casey, obviously a lot of things change in coming into this year. No longer an NAIA team, no longer a member of the GPAC. You know starting next year that this program will be part of the NSIC. But this year is really the first year of full-fledged Division II schedule. Just talk about the, the prospects of coming into this season as, as a D2 program for the first time. Oh, we're just excited about the season. New new um, teams, new competition each year or each um, week. And just some of the guys standing out so far, like we just have good running backs stepping up. Jordan and uh, Christian really been uh, showing what they have and it's no surprise to us, we've seen them. Offensive line's doing well. We're really coming together and just excited for this upcoming season. The schedule, obviously, lots being made of that. You start off with Washburn, an accomplished Division II program that plays in a very difficult conference. Um, uh, you know, only lost to Nebraska Omaha by a point, or, or beat Nebraska Omaha by a point last year, and lost to Northwest Missouri State by one point. That's a team that's that's obviously earned its stripes to the Division II level, and they're they're the first game. Then after that, you go to Northwest Missouri State, number three in Division II. Washburn's 18. And then from there, you go up to the FCS level in McNeese State, a top 20 program at that level. What's uh, what's that like? Intimidated going into that? Oh, I won't say intimidation or anything. It's just uh, excitement again. Um, we know what we're up against. We've been hearing it ever since we got back after Christmas break. And uh, it's more motivation than anything. Like we have, we know there's some doubters out there that don't believe we can do it. But it's just something that we can have every week just to go out there and prove them guys wrong. Now, for you, as a, as a a member, a veteran member of this Cougar program. Uh, you've been with Coach Stugert for a year, with Kalen DeBoer before that. You guys have had some opportunities that a lot of college athletes would just love to have. You played in three straight national championship games, uh, and of course you won back-to-back -back titles. That's all special, but now that's gone. You're a senior, and, and, and the year that everybody looks forward to is kind of their last hurrah. You, do, you guys don't technically have any kind of uh, championship glory to play for this time around. So talk about the difference coming into this season, knowing that, that there won't be a trophy at the end, uh, no matter what happens. I've definitely had the best of kind of both worlds there. I've been playing for those national championships, and now this year with this new competition. Um, but the coaches have been teaching that to us too, and we've bought into it that each game this year, especially these opening three, is going to be like a national championship game, really. The competition that we're facing is just as good or if not better than what we've played before and we just got to treat it every week like it is because it's going to be fun either way. Again back to the trophy it's not it's not a it's not an opportunity that 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 you have this year so I guess basically bottom line when you look at it what's in it for you what's in it for the seniors this year? Oh um just kind of like the like ever since we've been in NAI people always said well you're just NAI and it's just something for us like as a class just to prove that we we have belonged and we do belong in Division II and just kind of for even the seniors in the past that we played with, like they're all part of a family and they're probably heard it all before too and just, just kind of to prove them all wrong.